Hello and welcome to Pacuccino! If you're new to this channel, I say welcome and today we're doing something special which is a bit different from all the things that I've done before but I plan to do for a while now. And if you're someone who watches my videos quite regularly, thank you for your support, thank you for watching me and supporting me and today is a treat we do something special and that's it i will build my very first rudesta i think it's called um Diethoff. i here shell for my figures i'm really excited for it and to do that i need first to clean up the space where it should or where it's supposed to go then we will build the rudesta in the second step and in the last step I will fill it with my figures so that they can be kept safely and as you notice this is a bit of a different theme behind me and me not showing just the white plain uh, wall because I'm still testing with new camera so sorry if anything is amiss and not how it's supposed to be I'm still working with this camera I'm still new to this I'm still new to all the lighting stuff I need to think about and so it's kind of a test video. So first I will show you where this new stuff is supposed to go and we will clean this space a little bit up and then we will build the Rodesta. So let's go! As you can see this is the mess that I'm kind of working with. It's my trash pile on the side where all my empty boxes are stored also my lego stuff and this is the cat tree that we will deassemble i need to put all the stuff away we need to clean up here and then we have space again um sadly the owner of the cat tree just died recently or more like we had to put him to sleep so this one will go that's why i can even put that wood this stuff there so anyway i will speed this section up maybe i will cut a lot of stuff out so that i will not bore you to death and we will go in asmr kind of notion and clean this space up yay <laughs> where you saw the cut and um, I will need to take apart the cat tree but uh, then I discussed it and uh, we gave it to our neighbor who has a lot of kitties so now let's go on to the ne next step and it is building the Rudesta I will catch you then so next we will build the Rodesta. Let's go.
as you can all see um i unpackaged everything and now i'm gonna build it up so let's speed the photo up. last 10 minutes I realized the hole is not big enough <laughs> to fit this stupid screw in it so yeah I think we will just continue doing the next <laughs> uh, awful I tell you And with this, I finished the Rusta. Ru, Rusta? Anyway, my glass cabinet for my figures. I'm totally wasted. It's 9 o'clock, 9, half 10. Half 10 in the evening. I'm beat. I'm gonna end it here. And I will show you some footage of how it's fully assembled when I put everything inside and how it looks on its final place and I hope you enjoyed it it was something fun it was stressful some unexpected issues happened like we decided to remove the uh, rug which was laying here because we wanted to remove it like forever this was a rather simple build nothing too spectacular and yeah i'm beat i hope you had fun give me a like if you kind of like what you saw if it was fun otherwise i will get you in the next one and thanks for watching until then bye bye okay and here we have the final result 
after I put in some figures and my shame wall is still there because I have no other space where I should put all the figure boxes and this is a tilted wall so it's not like I have something that I can even put there. I have a basket fall with my little plush kitties which are dangerously low. I don't think I can leave them there because I think Paco will just try to take them if I leave them like this. He just loves plushies. So I better watch out when he's in a playful mood that he doesn't take one of them. Yeah, so I'm not 100% uh, satisfied with how the Rudasta, Rudasta, my not Detolf, Detolf. So let's take a closer look together. For now, the first shelf or at the top I got my Riemann set of the Pokemon Backtown Alley at night. And my first shelf is a dedication to all my Onyoji figures. I did not put everything in. I'm not 100% completely satisfied how it turned out. Not sure if I will leave the acrylic stand there, but for now it's the most finished one. You can't see the beautiful artwork in the background, uh, which makes it kind of redundant to even put it there. But otherwise it's fine. At a later point I will probably add some lightning and it will look a little bit better. But for now I'm kind of not exactly sure how to composition everything though that it looks fine. Um, but anyway I will leave it for now like this and I will look at it at a later date if I'm dissatisfied with it. Following suite, my second shelf, which contains my 1 4th Eureka Bunny and my Miko Price figure of Autumn. And in the background, you can see an artwork that I picked up from a local convention. Not exactly sure what her name was. Again, I will look it up and link it in the description if you're interested. But anyway, it's not about this right now. This shelf is kind of empty. But for now it will stay like this. I think Eureka is perfect on the second shelf with her height, how she looks and how she's positioned herself. The same with my Miku and they kind of look like mother and daughter <laughs> right now <laughs> because of the size difference. If I ever get another one force which is kneeling or sitting, I think she will join Eureka on this shelf. And we have my last shelf, which contains my two Nandoroids of Mafu Mafu and the cute little red Ivante girl. And also my non scale, I think, or she's either a 1 8 or 1 7, I'm not exactly sure right now. Lilywine by Rebose, which looks perfect with the, back, with the dark background. And I think they work well on the last shelf because it's better because they're looking up and you can look from the top down which I think works really well with them but otherwise it's really empty I also have my mask my Shiba mask here for now because I have no other space where I should put her just like with the detail a one for standing money is not does not fit in here and at the bottom there's no glass panel, though for now I got my box set of Demon Slayer down here and the games that you saw in the beginning. And with this, and this was everything. I hope you had fun. Do tell me what you think I should rather put in it or how to re re rearrange it. But this is a work in progress. This will change as soon as I get more figures in and decide how I really want to put which figure with which together and yeah. So this time for real, thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.